Saturday night, it is your football Friday night, and it is live. As you can see, a big board of games. A lot of Baton Rouge versus New Orleans. A lot of rivalries that have come across here in the last few years. But a busy night because, remember, it is survive in advance or you go home. It is playoffs time here in Baton Rouge. As the weather has changed, and so have, of course, the stakes. We start off every single week with, week, rather, with our football Friday night game of the week. West Monroe. Losing on that field a year ago to end their season. Zachary, so good on defense. Had to figure it out sometimes this year on offense. The defense, really, really solid there for Coach Brew and company. Holding the Rebs to an early field goal halfway through the first quarter. But like I said, sometimes the offense has sputtered. Tyson Williams, though. Tylen Williams, excuse me. I definitely know that name. Big game there for the Broncos. Holstein, though, those are the money downs, and he got sacked there by Tyler Wark from the Rebs. Less than a minute before the half, can you get some points, though? To Jalen Wright, everyone's screaming, timeout, timeout. They set up for the field goal, and oh, boy, no good. So you go into the half at home against the team. There's no love lost between these two teams. Down 3-0, Eli Holstein, the Alabama commit, says, Let's rock. Broncos rocking and rolling there in the Bronco Corral. All the way to our live truck, Eli. How about that? Making it 13 to 10 at that point. Still more to go. Holstein, the big gun. Up top. Touchdown, Broncos. And you saw the final. They would sew this one up, and they are headed to the quarterfinals with a 20 to 10 lead, in, or win, rather. An emotional win there for Coach Brew and company. So let's take you live and straight to the source. Big Game Boucher. Chester Boucher standing by with what looks like a very happy Coach Brew as well. Yeah, Brian, 2010, the final. Not pretty, but a win is a win. David Brewerton in the playoffs, it's all about survive and advance, and you guys did it again. Yeah, we did. I'm, I'm very pl proud of our guys. You know, offensively couldn't get in sync for three quarters. Um, and then, uh, you know, Coach Langwell, I got some things turned around up top and, and uh, uh, had a great fourth quarter. There were two plays that weren't scoring plays that really stood out to me. Eli Holstein just trucked a defender and then Cam Peters with a fourth and four. Big stop when they go for it. Kind of what did you see from those? Yeah, very big play there. Had to have had to have both of them actually. That first one with Eli kind of sparked us a little bit and the, the fourth down stop that Cam had was was outstanding. We certainly needed that. Your guys it's one of those things, you have a good team, but you have to put it together all four quarters. Do you think that they've kind of done that this season? No, definitely have not played a four-quarter game yet. And, and uh, you know, that's what I just told the guys. I said, the, the way we played in the fourth quarter, can you imagine if we played four of those together? And that's what we'll continue to strive for, and, and that's, what, that's what the playoffs are about. we got to get start stringing together more, more, more quarters um, in a positive light. I talked to you earlier this week about the old powerhouse and the new powerhouse. You guys building a dynasty. Yeah. West Monroe probably uh, doesn't doesn't really love coming down here, especially now that you're four and one against them, especially in the postseason. Yeah, you know, I, I uh, you know, anytime that we play a, a, a program with that kind of tradition, you love to come out on top. You know, uh, and and two years ago, you know, we were able to, or, or two. The, Two times ago when we played them, you know, we were able to clip them there late in the state championship game, and you know there was some issues with some referees' calls that they didn't like, and and then they came here last year and more referee problems apparently. So certainly nice to come from behind and win one without any referee interference um, uh, stepping involved. Congratulations on the win and good luck next week. I'll certainly take it. Thank you very much. All right, Brian, I'll send it back to you.